right, this is the Special Opioid Crisis Committee. This is Monday, June 19, 2017. We're at 6 p.m. Mm. I have Councilor McKinnon. Yeah. I have Councilor DeFlorio. Yeah. We have two members present. We do not have a quorum. Uh, due to the lack of a quorum, this is for informational purposes only. Informational purposes only. Uh, Councilman Capone is unable to attend due to a family commitment, and Councilman McLaughlin is unable, unable to attend due to a work commitment. Uh, if you would rise and please salute the flag. Um, could you uh, please introduce yourself? Just make sure that the mic's on. Okay, thank you. My name is Paul Garino. And your I'm title? A, uh, program coordinator of the health department. Thank you. Uh, just for informational purposes, Paul, just bring us up to speed on what's going on with the recovery coach aspect of it. Where we had left off before was uh, we were going to be putting uh, funds out from the uh, from the council, we had approved uh, $6,000, I believe it was. Yes. And uh, now they're being utilized, and uh, the recovery coach aspect right. is being taught over. Right. This time. past uh, Friday, the second um, the second class came through with the help of the City of Everett with their funding of the $6,000. Um, all in overcoming addiction started their second uh, class, and they had um, 32 participants, uh, with two residing from Everett. And um, the class will be completed next week on the 24th of June. And um, like I said, after the completion of this class, this, between Mall and Everett, there should be about 50 recovery coaches available on a voluntary basis. Right. And like I said, the role, the role of the recovery coaches, to, it's, uh, it works in different ways. And um, like as the, as the graduation of the first, I graduated from the first class in April, some of these recovery coaches are being utilized through uh, the Malden District Court, the, the drug court. And at the, the, the importance of this recovery coach at this point is to um, to help you know help meet meet people where they're at you know uh, the four main goals of the rec of the re of the recovery coach process are of course one to promote recovery encourage hope optimism and a healthy living connect people with recovery support and uh, remove the barriers so like I said with the help of the with Everett and Malden um, and these 50 new coaches coming on board. We hopefully down the road we can implement them in certain aspects, say maybe down the road and through um, detox centers, ED departments, um, just people that reach out from the police or fire that reach out that they, they see someone in need, or just even through a family member that has someone that someone that, had, that needs some kind of help, uh, where they're there for their support. You know, as a like as I said, as a peer to peer, and um, you know it's it's so far because I want to thank more than overcoming addiction and that we're doing all the, the footwork and Everett being on board with the funding. It's been a great uh, a great learning process and you know thanking Paul Hammersley and Don Riello for all their work that they're doing for as volunteers. It's um it's a it's a you know like I said recovery it's on it's an ongoing process and um and this requires a daily commitment so that's what we're trying to do. No it's that's great. I'm I'm glad to hear that um, and I'm glad that we could actually get the funding funding from us here to have the second class go to vote. Um, I think that if, I think there's going to be over 50, right? How many? Probably was the right first? there. The first class had 20. This class has 32. So you're looking at 52 out there that so that's they'd be a pretty you know, good start. I would think. You know, and they are utilizing some of these recovery coaches from the first class in the Malden drug courts. You're doing them in drug court. Now? Yes. Okay. So that's a good thing. That's right? a start. That's a start. You know. um, we also have a meeting, I know, uh, scheduled, I believe it's with Steve Sapino. Wednesday, director this of, Wednesday. What's he, Director of Health and Human Services? Yes, Director of Health and Human Services, and with Tori Cyrus from the clinician from the uh, Everett Fire Department and Chief Colley yep. and Captain O'Brien. And we'll be meeting, uh, is Elaine Silver attending? Elaine Silver, too, right, in the, in the Health Department. And that's going to probably try to figure out how to get them. The next step. The next step going. Um, I know that uh, Julia Ojeda, uh, we invited her here. She was supposed to be here tonight, but she couldn't attend uh, due to another commitment. And uh, council, uh, actually, uh, yeah, council, 
Assistant City Clerk uh, Sergio Canelio was supposed to be here as well, and he could not attend due to work commitment. So um, I'm glad that you showed up. Uh, I'm, I'm happy that uh, we had you come up and explain that, and that that's all working, the recovery coach aspect of it all. Um, Councilwoman DeFlora, do you have anything? Uh, with that, um, this is phase one that we've done. We've worked through phase one. It was uh, no stigma at first. Uh, we worked with Everett Overcoming Addiction as well. Uh, we worked with a number of various groups. We like recapped and, and, and questioned and had testimony before us on anywhere from senators, former senators, uh, task force people from the governor, uh, all that. And now uh, we're gonna try to move it on to uh, probably phase two of it. But phase one, we went from number one in the whole state to number nine. So now it's at number nine. And we hand it to you. All right. Mr. Garino. That's it. Like I said, it's, it's, on, it's an ongoing Cyrus process and, um, and uh, it's a daily commitment. Absolutely. So, thank you. Uh, I wish you well with it and I hope uh, you do a great job with it. So thank you. Thank, thank you, you for appearing thank tonight. You. She gives the customary thanks. Thank you. And we are done. Motion to adjourn and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. <laughs> See you later.